people uh, asked about our sprayer. Turbo's gonna help. Um, that we use. Uh, it's a Fimco Boomless ATV sprayer. That's the model number. It's a 30 foot spray pattern. Uh, it's got 25 gallon tank on it, 3.8 gallon per minute uh, 12 volt pump. It hooks up to the four wheeler. Uh, it's got a handgun. It'll spray 35 feet, which it will, because <clears throat> we can spray our fence rows basically from the from the road. We can spray our fence lines. Um, yeah, it's, if you want to read the box. And I don't know what that is, but we've had it for uh, several years. <clears throat> so that's how it mounted on the four wheeler. It's uh, basically just uh, um, you bolted onto the luggage rack, which is kind of a pain because then you, it's not really a quick on and off. It's, <clears throat> it takes a few minutes, but. Uh, Runs off the battery. Uh, it'd be kind of nice, I think, to have a external battery because it seems to kind of it can draw the uh, four wheeler battery down over time. Depends on how much you're spraying. Um, down off switch here. So in the video when you saw me stopping and stuff, uh, I had the sprayer on and off. Uh, this would be nice to mount it up here. But we don't do a lot of spraying. Um, Kind of our fence fence lines just to make them look nice. Uh, it's kind of a every couple of year project. The weeds come back or they disappear. Um, and then we have some problem spots, mostly thistles uh, or broadleaves. And then as you've seen in the videos, uh, we've been spraying our summer annuals, our millet, and uh, we did spray our sorghum sedan grass the other day. Um, that's for broad leaves. Um, we've been using the same Pasture Pro 24D stuff. I had a few questions on uh, how we set this up or or what um, our calibrations, etc. Are uh, this is my little sheet. That's the owner, the manual that came with the uh, sprayer, uh, just for the boom is. 176 dollars most of these now these nozzles are like 40 or 50 bucks a piece and we busted them uh i got all of them to be replaced so <clears throat> either sprayer on until we're really done sprayed which means we're checking cows and doing other stuff and then stuff happens over the years um so we replaced both of these and then this one someone backed in somebody i.e me backed into something and busted that one off earlier um, and then these um, kind of just deteriorate over time so we replaced them so we got a little bucket that has all our spray stuff in it but anyway back to this it does have a chart of uh, how to set it up so basically the pasture pro 24d uh, broadleaf killer is um, Application rate is one to two quarts per acre, uh, which <clears throat> works out to basically a gallon into this tank will come out at, in a quart. So we've been applying like a, a one and a half quarts per acre. So basically we dump a gallon and a half of stuff in here, then fill it up. So we run at 30, 30 PSI on our pressure gauge and it's set with how far you open this uh, this one. And this controls your boot or your boom. And then if you run at five miles an hour, which is a pretty pretty uh, easy speed to maintain, uh, it'll cover 3.62 acres per tank. Um, 
at 6.9 gallons per acre. So we're putting uh, about seven gallons of spray mix on per acre. And then depending on what product we're using, uh, we're kind of usually running the mid mid range and then we kind of speed up over the, or shut it off over the uh, less weedy areas and slow down over the high weed areas. Um, cost wise for that pasture pro to 24D stuff, um, what I like about it is there's no grazing withdrawals. There's no, I don't think there's really any hay withdrawals on it other than uh, waiting until it's past harvest or past uh, where the chemical gets into the um, what you're trying to spray. Uh, it's cheap at, and we don't have to have a license to, to buy it. Uh, and it works out to about $13 an acre, which maybe that's high, maybe it's not. Um, but we don't cover every acre. But that's the problem with our annuals is we've gotten into more. <clears throat> happened just We sprayed more this year than we have ever have. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is after about 15 acres, uh, you kind of start smelling it. Um, you know, it's not far enough behind you. Uh, we do wear uh, long sleeve shirts and gloves and stuff uh, when we're actually spraying, but it gets hot. And but for what we do, it works. <clears throat> like I say we don't do a lot, of, a lot of stuff <clears throat> like even for spraying the fence rows. We can shut these nozzles off, and we just leave one of them on and then drive right down the row spray them so we have a little a smaller one uh, which was the original one is just a tank and the wand and dad's got that we put that in the back of the truck and just spray some other places that we can get the truck to that's a little easier but uh that's the spimco sprayer uh any other questions let me know i'll try to answer them eventually uh but it works for us uh the boomless boomless one is handy because of all the trees and pastures and stuff and we don't have to worry about stuff getting knocked off and um and spray down the hills and and places where we couldn't get to with a boom so that's why we got that but anyway uh thanks for watching uh questions comments up on youtube stuff as always and we'll see you guys next time